Joining me now from Ruston, Virginia is Keith Cowling. He's a former rocket scientist and editor of NASAWatch.com. Great to see you again, Keith. This was uh, China's first independent mission to another planet. We heard the word trifecta. What would this mean if this all ends up being successful? Well, trifecta is an interesting word because up until now, the most complicated thing that we've landed on Mars uh, have been U.S. rovers where you have a lander, then the rover drives off. And what China's going to do is they're going to put an orbiter in orbit around Mars, then it's going to let the rover or lander come down, and then the rover will drive off. So, try trifecta. It's probably one of the more complicated things that have ever been tried on Mars, so I, I can't wait to see it. A lot of eyes were on this launch. Elon Musk tweeted and called it impressive. What were your observations as you watched uh, it occur? I'm very excited because this is the year uh, the U.S. is going to be launching some, uh, a big rover to Mars next week. Uh, the UAE launched uh, Al Amal or Hope la uh, last week. And so there's going to be three spacecraft arriving at Mars in February. And uh, for those of us who are interested in the search for life on Mars, uh, this is uh, another trifecta, three new spacecraft arriving at Mars. So that being said, they're all expected to land or, or reach the area around February. Um, they're making this window, this season of this launch season towards Mars. Um, are they all doing different things? Are they competing with each other? What can you tell us about these different um, missions? Well, the interesting thing about missions to any planet, especially Mars, is uh, um, maybe there's a competition, but usually it's cooperation. And in this case now, we have a new generation of more sophisticated spacecraft. Uh, the, uh, the rover that Tianwen is going to be landing on the surface and the NASA Perseverance rover are both doing astrobiology or search for life. And so the results from both of these missions will help each mission. Uh, the UAE Hope Orbiter is going to be looking at the Mars uh, weather systems. There are already spacecraft in orbit doing this, and Europe will be sending its own rover in about a year and a half uh, to Mars as well. So every, it's sort of the old saying, you stand on the shoulders of those came before you, and that's exactly what's happening now. It seems like a busy season. China's Space Agency uh, seeing other launches with the Beidou satellite system, for example. Um, and it comes at an interesting time with the coronavirus pandemic. How has that affected the way that space agencies and even commercial companies have launched and planned their schedules the past several months? Well, unfortunately, Europe had to delay its uh, Euro, uh, excuse me, its ExoMars lander, which was going to go uh, around the same time. Uh, the U.S. Perseverance rover has had some delays that are related to people not being on the job, and I'm certain uh, elsewhere in the world uh, uh, there are similar issues. Uh, a lot of what can be done these days can be done by sitting at a computer, but at some point you need to actually uh, touch the rocket and, and touch the hardware. And so there has been an impact. But, uh, you know, there's always a, you know, a creative uh, thought somewhere of how to get around this, and everybody seems to be doing that. Keith, any final thoughts on this mission to Mars? Well, again, like I said, we're launching a new generation of spacecraft now that are very sophisticated. And, you know, the, the question that's been, at, you know, on our minds since I was a little boy when the first spacecraft flew by uh, Mars back in 1965 is, is there life there? And this discipline of astrobiology now has arisen where uh, around the world everybody's really interested in where there might be life elsewhere in the solar system. And Mars is probably one of the prime places where we might find that it once existed or may still exist. So I know it's on the minds of everybody who sends every mission to Mars. And that's, to me, but personally, is very exciting.